Hello YouTubers, we're going to be jailbreaking the iPhone uh, software version 3.1.2. Uh, we're going to be using Black Rain, and um, I know there are plenty of tutorials online, but it's always a lot easier to go through a video because it just is. So let's get started. First of all, what I like to do is if you do not have software version 3.1.2, I would back up all of your contacts uh, using Windows contacts. Uh, we're going to be jailbreaking it on the Windows or on uh, on Windows today, and uh, this way you can restore the iPhone back to the original. You know when you first got it, and update it to 3.1.2 with nothing but your contacts on there. You can obviously always bring back you know all your applications. But this way, I, I always just feel sure that, you know, it's it's completely clear and nothing's going to go wrong. Alright, so you're going to want to back up your contacts, at least your contacts. You can always try to back up your uh, applications and everything, but your contacts are usually the most important since you can always get your apps back. To do that, you go into the Info tab. Once in the Info tab on iTunes, you go into the Contacts section. Uh, in the scroller click Windows contacts and just sync and that's it uh, wait for it to sync up all your contacts and you're good to go also if you would like to as a safety precaution you can back up your phone in case something goes wrong in the jailbreak you could always bring it back to uh, the settings before you try jailbreaking instead of going all the way back to when you first got the iPhone now that we're all set up you're going to go on blackrain.com and uh, that is with a one, not an I, so blackra1n.com. I'll have the link in the description. Now that you're on the site, you're going to have to choose whether you're going to be installing this on the Windows or on the Mac. We're going to be doing it on the Windows, and this is by George Hotz. Uh, he actually recently just hacked the PS3, so the PS3 is now hackable. Congratulations to him. Um, once we have uh, once you chose which operating system you wanted on, you're obviously going to save the file. I'm sure you guys know how to download stuff. And Black Rain is going to pop up. You can open the containing folder or wherever all your stuff goes on. And once you have that open, you can just drag it right to the desktop. And I already have it right there. And this is fairly important. When you want to get this started, what you want to do is close out of iTunes. Get rid of it. Completely. And by completely, I mean completely. Control Alt Delete. Start Task Manager. Now that you have Task Manager open, look for iTunes Helper or anything that has to do with all the Apple crap. So get rid of it. The reason you do this is because you do not want iTunes opening while you have Black Rain running. Uh, when this happens, uh, it's not going to allow you to keep going. It's going to get stuck at the Connect to iTunes screen. And when it's stuck at the Connect to iTunes screen, you have to restore or, you know, get your computer, or not your computer, your iPhone activated again. So you do not want that to happen. Uh, the Apple Mobile, this and this, you want it, you know, connected just to make sure that Black Rain recognizes it. Now that we have that out of the way, if you are running on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, right click properties and do not do anything with uh, the compatibility mode some people tell you to change it to you know whatever compa compatibility you need you do not need to do that just make sure that it's going to run as administrator and do this in properties just in case I'm not sure how the uh, how black rain works but you, you just don't want to run into any issues so just leave it under running as administrator always there you go just like that then you're going to click on black rain obviously uh, not recognized whatever don't worry run it's gonna pop right up and now that you have it up make it rain Now what should happen is it should go into recovery and very quickly it should run um, this kid's face, George Hotz. If it does not pop up fairly quickly, 
that means something is going on. Your iTunes is just not letting it go through. No. You're just supposed to wait for the reboot. So when this pops up, everything's going good so far. Let it reboot. And also, I'm sorry for the uh, fan noise coming out of my computer. It's I didn't want to have to redub. You know, I don't know. I have to talk over the video again, so I'm just recording with a camera. And that's everything that you're gonna have to do on the computer. Once it reboots and everything's set, uh, the rest of the tutorial is actually gonna be on the iPhone, and that's fairly simple as well. You just gotta get Cydia, and you're good to go. Actually, that's not all that you have to do on the computer. Uh, one important step is you want to open up Firefox, uh, go on YouTube, and when you're on YouTube, uh, search for AE Para AE, and when you're on there, you can uh, click right on the uh, on the username, and there's, there there will be a button right here uh, that says subscribe. Uh, very important step in the process, just click subscribe. Okay. Alright, so you should be all set up with the computer. Uh, if you got this far, you're, you're doing great and you're basically done. Black Rain is going to be on your second page, depending on if you uh, actually got rid of all your apps or, and everything. Uh, so here you go, Black Rain. Click it. And then it'll load the uh, the the packages that it's basically coming with. You got Snow, which is going to un unlock your phone. Uh, Rock didn't even look at it. Insidia, the very popular Insidia. Click it, install it. It'll download it. And then once this is done, and you have Insidia, you do not need Black Rain anymore. And that's it. Uh, you could donate on his site. Uh, I mean, if I was him, I'd greatly appreciate it. He's helped a lot of people. And now he hacked the PS3, which is, you know, awesome. Okay. So there you go. Now, you can click it and uninstall it right there. You have the button to uninstall. And now you have Cydia, and if you've never used Cydia before, if this is your first jailbreak, this is what you use to customize your your iPhone. Uh, you know, different backgrounds with uh, Winterboard that you can use behind your apps, not just as a wallpaper. Different icons, different this, different that. This is how you get everything that you need to actually have a customized iPhone. I hope this video helped a few people. Um, the control alt delete is fairly important. If iTunes pops up, it's not going to let you jailbreak. So just remember that before asking any questions. Get rid of iTunes helper before you actually try to jailbreak. And uh, please subscribe. Appreciate you watching. And uh, until next time.